guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to be telling you about my experience going gluten-free. I went gluten-free last June, so it's been almost a year. I'm really happy about it. And honestly, it really has changed my life. So I went gluten-free with my mom because she has a thyroid problem, and the doctor said that by her going gluten-free, it would just be a lot healthier. So I was like, all right, mom, I'll do it with you because... I have a lesser chance actually of developing her thyroid problem if I cut out gluten now. <laughs> there's a dog walking, I mean there's a boy walking his dog and skateboarding down the street. <laughs> okay, I also went gluten free just because I'm always trying out new diets or new ways of eating, new different like tea toxes, stuff like that, and I just wanted to try gluten free and I've stuck with it ever since June. I'm like really bad at this whole talking thing. It's fine. I like, so, just so if you like don't know, they like. <laughs> what is gluten? If you don't know what gluten is, gluten is a mixture of proteins found in wheat. It helps the dough rise. And a lot of people who have celiac are allergic to these proteins or whatever. I don't have celiac myself, so I really was just doing this because I wanted to. Um, and I thought it would be easier for my mom to do if she had someone else to do it with, so I was like, why not? But it seriously has changed my life. Since June, I have been much more energized. I have lost a lot of weight because just cutting out a lot of food like, I can't eat a lot of cookies now just because I'm like, oh, I'm gluten-free, whatever. And I know that I don't actually have to be gluten-free. I know I can eat pizza whenever I want, but it's been so long now that it's not even tempting to me. And, like, I'll go out to, like, places with my friends and they get these delicious foods. And, I mean, it doesn't really bother me anymore because I'm so used to it, so... If you're worried that when you go gluten-free you're gonna miss a lot of the old foods, you do at first, but you get used to it and it's really not that bad. And there is a gluten-free substitute for every single gluten meal there is in the entire world. Like I could go to the supermarket and there's gluten-free sections everywhere. Like gluten-free people are taking over the world, I swear to God. So now I'm gonna tell you what I have to eat on a typical day. Usually for breakfast, I will have a Kind bar um, probably the caramel macchiato one because it's my favorite and it goes really well with coffee, obviously. Then I will grab a banana and so granola bar, banana, coffee, breakfast. Oh, it's raining. It's like really raining. Yes. Pouring. Ruby just said, do you want me to bring you iced coffee? Is three things of coffee <laughs> too much? Yes. Speaking of me being healthy, I had waffle fries for breakfast today. Oh my gosh. Wait, literally, Maddie and I were sitting in the diner this morning, and these two, oh my god, the two waitresses were getting in an argument right next to us, and we were listening in, and she was like, I look out for you, and you don't even have my back. When your friend showed up the other day, you were so disrespectful. I don't like her. And we, Maddie and I were just like, you should probably take that into the kitchen, because... Okay, I, who am I talking to? <laughs> for lunch, my grandma still packs me a lunch every single day since third grade. It's very cute. I love my bubby. I'll usually have a peanut butter sandwich. I don't know why she doesn't put jelly on. I do like jelly and I just haven't said anything because it's been the same for all these years and I wouldn't want to tell her to switch it up. I usually do Whole Foods brand gluten-free bread. I like the cinnamon raisin. Whole Foods has a really good brand and I'm blanking on the name and I know that's really bad because I'm supposed to be like helping with good things to get that are gluten free but I don't know and then I will usually have some strawberries or just a mix of fruit so yesterday I had cucumbers strawberries and apple and my sandwich and then for dinner I will usually have like a brown rice and salad I dance every day so sometimes after dance, I'll make myself like a protein smoothie and I'll just take like vanilla protein powder, pour it in, and then I get a good amount of protein for the day. One thing I do try to do is break up my meals and eat them like smaller portions throughout the day because it's better for your metabolism and it will help you digest faster 
and keep your body always running, which is better for you than eating three large big meals a day. My diet is very restricted, but what were we talking about? Going gluten free. Oh, so I definitely recommend going gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to watch me on YouTube. I want to be famous. Basically, I know this video was kind of a jumble of things, but I definitely recommend going gluten-free. I'm much more energized. I'm a much happier person. There's less toxic things inside of my body, which always helps you be more energized and live a healthier lifestyle. Of course, I sometimes want to break gluten-free, and at first, when I, in June, went gluten-free, I would always have a couple things here and there, but then one day I just said, that's it, no more going back and forth between gluten-free and not. It's completely out of my life. I've not eaten gluten in so long. If you are considering going gluten-free and you have any questions, you can ask them down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because, I don't know, we post videos every Thursday. Gluten. No,